Hello my creative friend, Olga Sabi here and welcome to new acrylic pouring video. Today I want to create a painting inspired by fall foliage. Oh my god, even how that sounds, fall foliage is so romantic. So I want to create a painting with the flow that's going to be a gradient of colors with three main colors, green, yellow and red and pops of other colors as well just to diversify and create a really beautiful saturated color palette and i want it to be an abstract look sort of wind playing with the leaves let's see how it turns out so without further ado let's get started Kiss of the Wind is a secret message today and I'm working on a Prussian blue base for this painting and this is a cradle wood panel. I primed uh, the panel and I want to have my sides painted at this time so I painted them also with Prussian blue just to prepare them before the painting. So I think this should be enough of paint. Let's spread it around. Okay, so let's add in those colors. The base is all done. So I want to go for a diagonal flow. This is my favorite layout, diagonal. And I want to go from green on the bottom all the way to burst of yellows and reds and oranges at the top. I'm adding a little extra red at the top because I want this flow expand towards the top. Okay, so this is the main gradient of colors and you can see I have them overlapping slightly. And now I want to add a couple other colors. So in my green, a bit of a lighter green. I think it would also be nice to have this light vibrant green, which is a mix of green and yellow my yellow couple pops of primary yellow so a little brighter and warmer one some orange here this is iridescent orange some magenta at the end so i want to have a touch of gold all throughout my flow oh yeah i need some white Okay, let's blow this out from the center out. Yes, oh, I love it. Okay, this is perfect. You know what, since we are in a fall foliage inspired theme today, I think it would be nice, even though I really like the flow, but to really capture the motion of this fall foliage flying and playing with the wind, uh, I want to create a couple whimsical designs. And the best way to do it is to use a straw. So I can use straw for a while. So I don't want to overwork it, just a few sections here and there. I want to have a couple of fingers swipe in here.
I think it definitely has that spirit now, that playful, whimsical, falling leaves. I really, really love it. So much beautiful lace in here. You know what? Not only it looks like a full foliage, but it also I just realized that it does look like a tree. Very abstract one, of course, but if this was a uh, trunk of the tree, this is the crown. Oh my god, this is a dancing tree! Oh, I love it even more this way! Oh, so cool. I don't even know which vision, interpretation I like better. Dancing foliage or dancing tree? Which one do you like better? Let me show you how it dries. Here it is done and covered with a layer of epoxy resin. And as you already know, I teach everything about my resin process in the slightest details in my new course. So if you have any questions, please check it out. I love how resin really made all the colors pop on this one because I used some metallics, really added the depth and look at all this beautiful lacing here in the yellow and really just all throughout the painting gorgeous burst here on the bottom so please tell me what do you see in this painting is that a tree with this sort of wavy curvy uh, trunk and the crown of the tree or is it just an abstract gradient and dense of fall foliage that sort of transitions from early fall all the way to late fall what is it for you so for me i think it's more of a tree now because once I saw it, I just couldn't unsee it. It definitely has a more abstract, very wavy and dynamic and airy feel to it. And I actually really love this style. I think it's really cool. I really like how some of these wispy parts turned out, the ones that I did with the straw blowing. And usually I don't do this type of um, elements a lot. I like a little more rounded shapes. But for this one, I think it worked absolutely perfectly. I love the colors in the green section, they're just so vibrant and juicy, but the top is definitely my favorite. Some beautiful pops of magenta and this juicy red and orange, just gorgeous. So please let me know how do you like the outcome. I would love to talk to you. I'll chat with you in the comments down below. Hope you have a lot of fun this Halloween. Go create something spooky creative. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today. Take care, create with passion, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.